everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute. Today I'm out here with Kelly Near. How you doing, Kelly? Good, how are you? All right, and we're gonna talk about how to gain some flexibility in your swing, which is gonna help you with your long driving. We've already talked about, got a game plan for the strength, and we're gonna do it with the RMT Club. I tell you what, this is an incredible um, tool here. It's gonna help you with your range of motion. It's gonna help you get more hip turn, which you need, and it's gonna loosen up your rotator cup with all the rotational swings. So today, I'm gonna show you some mobility drills and actual some drills that you can perform just for exercise to help with your hips, your lower back, and your rotational strength with your rotator cup. All right, so let's get going. All right, we're gonna get into how to use this RMT club. I'm gonna show Kelly three important areas, and if you're just starting out with the RMT club and you have no idea how to use it, just watch these uh, three movements. We're gonna talk about mobility, and I'm gonna give you some drills for mobility that are really important for your rotator cup, your core and your lower back, and it's gonna make them more flexible, which I know those are three areas of concern for you. And then we're gonna get into swinging, how to swing this RMT club, and then we're gonna talk about how to pivot with the RMT club. All right, let's talk about the mobility, and we're gonna do the one when we do the, the lateral side bend, and you can see her right hand, that's her dominant hand is split, and she's gonna go overhead, like that, and stretch it even more, and she can, you can see the hip went out, and she's feeling a full stretch all the way here. Okay, you can relax. Okay, now go to the other side, and just go hand under. You can see this hand's under, and if you want a little bit more, I'm sorry, Kelly, there you go, you feel that stretch. Okay, go out there, that's excellent. Okay, now, okay, relax, and we're gonna take this thing and go overhead with the split hand like this, and this one, woke me up when I was going through the instruction with this. My shoulders were like, holy cow, I've never felt this stretch. So you're gonna take it here, and you're gonna go overhead, right in the center of the back like this, okay? And then you're gonna try to rip the handle apart by pulling the handle this way, and feet together, and then just turn. Okay? All right. So touch the middle of your back, okay, good. Feel like you're ripping it apart there. Yep, right there, good. Okay, turn and hold it for like five seconds. Okay, turn and face me. And you look, okay. All right, and back to center. Okay, relax. Okay, that was good. You felt that, didn't you? Oh, yeah. That's totally <laughs> different. Okay, it looks easy, but it's not. All right, the next one, we'll do the rotator cup where we swing it this way a couple times and change it and go the other way, okay? Okay. All right, and do the other arm. Okay, excellent. Okay, so you can feel that rotator cup, and then we'll do the uh, we'll do the the sagittal where we go in front swinging, okay. stop, and this will be a little bit of it's mobility, but it's a little bit of stopping the acceleration deceleration piece also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. That was it, and you can feel that too. So I, I, I do, I'm doing this for my pre-workout for warming up, and what I'm noticing is I'm going into the movements when I'm doing push press or power cleans uh, or kettlebell swings. My shoulders are super activated and warmed up just by doing what you just did. Yes. I'm not sitting here and taking 10 minutes. It doesn't take as long to warm up with this. All right, so we're going to go into another mobility, which is tough, but it's going to be a squat. And it's called a samurai squat. And that's where you're gonna take it up here, feet out, and then go down. And as you go down, you're gonna take the club and go out straight, and then come back here, hold it, and then back up with your weight staying in your heels, okay? So split hand grip. Okay, now if you have some mobility issues with your shoulders, you could put your hands together, which will help, but she's got a little bit of mobility, so we're gonna do a split hand. So toes out a little bit, Kelly, like 11 o'clock and one o'clock. Good, knees out, okay, and go down. Hold it, want a little bit more, get it out straight, feel that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now go behind your back and hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, look straight out, okay, and come up through your heels. All right, how was that? <laughs> that was good, that's some kind of stretch, right? It opens up your shoulders, and what's cool about this movement, it will transfer into helping you with the squats, which we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. So this will help your overall movement pattern with your squat. All right, the next thing we're gonna go over, Kelly, catch your breath there, is we're gonna talk about pivoting, just the generalities of pivoting. Okay, so, all right, we can do a split hand grip with this, and then feet are right underneath my shoulders, toes out, 
and here's the general principles with the RMT, is we want to have the, the, the butt end of the club here at our navel, and as we turn, take our eyes with it, and let the back toes point at the club handle too. Hold it out straight, come back to center, then pivot this way. Okay, just to feel the pivot, everything working together, okay? All right, look at it, good. And come to center, stop. Okay, come through it, let your back foot release, good. That's good, all right, stop right there, that's excellent. All right, now let's do it the other way. That's the main, one of the cool things about this RMT club is the non-dominant side training, which is gonna make our dominant side stronger, right? So we'll go from here, left hand up top, pivot to the left side, and then pivot to the right side, and look, and let's feel it, okay? Left hand up top. Okay, good. All right, go to the left. Good. And then to your right. Feels a lot different, don't you? You had to think, didn't you? Okay, you wouldn't think it would feel that much different, but it does. And it's important to note when training with this thing to train your non-dominant side. Okay, because a lot of times we want to do what we're good at, but mm -hmm. that non-dominant side, I tell you what, is you have to think about it. But that'll help our coordination, our balance, and our strength, and the strength in that dominant side. All right, so with that, we could do a couple drills, and I love this one. We could do a pivot drill, okay? We could just go like this, where we pivot, and we could take it and go like that, go back out to center, and then go like this, shake it, and we go here, and let's do that, okay? So pivot to the, there you go, boom, and then come back to center, and come back to this side, shake it, there you go, come back to center. Okay, that's a good little drill there. Felt pretty weird, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Did you feel your, your, your stomach bracing? Back, your stomach and your back, okay. All right, so now we're gonna go into swinging, all right? The swinging part portion of this is incredible, but the reason I wanna start out with mobility and the pivot first, you need to have the basic move its, movements first so you understand how this thing is moving with you. Now, I'm gonna personalize this for Kelly here. She has some range of motion issues, which a lot of people do. So for the golf purposes of the training with RMT Club, we can get this thing swinging we can get right here in the stance, and then we can get a split hand grip. We can go touch the back shoulder, and then we're gonna come through it and touch the back shoulder, letting the hands release. And you can see the motion here. It's really stretching me by doing this. And I can make it more fluid and go faster, accelerate, decelerate, and it can become a workout. But let's try that. And this will be a swing. Okay, go back and let it tap your right shoulder. Okay, and come through it. Boom, there, release, and then come back. Boom, and come through, and then you can just kind of whip it back and forth. Boom. Excellent. How, was, how, how did that feel? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, that was excellent. She's out of breath. Um, but I'm telling you what, that will increase that range of motion, that turn, that pivot, because, you know, from your softball days, you want you tend to, sway and right there as you saw there she was pivoting so this is gonna this is really gonna help you so other thing we could do with it for golf purposes is we could use the audible of this bat right here to work on the timing of our swing let me show you this kelly split hand grip get it right here in front let's take it to the top with a good pivot have the, the sound stop and then come through it to right here let it stop swing it back stop Stop. All right. Okay, so get it down just a little bit, get your posture. All right, pivot back like we did with a pivot drill. Boom, and then, wow, that was good. Do that again. Tell you what, face the camera on that. That's really good movement, okay? Turn back, stop it, good. Come through it, okay, and back through it. Good, all right, cool. All right, so that would be the golf portion of it. I'm gonna throw in a couple additional movements with this thing that I've used in the last couple of weeks that I absolutely cannot stop talking about. Probably driving Kyle crazy with it, but here it goes anyways. All right, we've got the nail driver and then we got the baler. The reason I like this, this transfers to golf because of supplination and pronation of the wrist, okay? So we're gonna take this Kelly up here with the right hand we're gonna open the hand, elbows pointing to the sky. We're gonna palm the grip here, we call this palming. And then I'm gonna take this down and pronate my hand. Good. 
okay? And then we'll switch the other hand and do that. And that's called the nail driver. So go up to the top, open the hand like that, and then, yep. And if she does it faster, she can get a more metabolic workout with it. Okay, try the other hand. You gotta think about it. Yeah, there you go. And then boom, oh, that's good. All right, that's excellent. And well, I added that in the workout the other day, and wow, that was a game changer. All right, so the last one that I think will definitely transfer to golf, and this will be a little bit, this will be part of the swinging part. Um, it's really fun. You can do both sides with it. So take your right hand underneath, feet are about shoulder width. You want to brace your knees almost like you're in a golf posture, athletic stance here, hips back, okay? And I'm going to take this thing from the side, almost like you're taking water out of the boat and slinging it over here, and I'm going to stop at about shoulder height. And then we'll switch hands. Okay, so go down to the side. you see how I did that? Okay. All right, let me stop you right there. All right, wasn't too bad. All right, it's got to get a little bit more like from the side and then up. Okay. Not, not that way. Here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Feel that? There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Left hand. <laughs> love, yeah. This one? Yep. Same movement. Just, yeah. There you go. All right, cool. And then what you can do too, when I saw David Weck do this, it was like, all right, now that was pushing with the right hand and pushing with the left. So you had acceleration, deceleration in the swing but we could take it up here. And now we're gonna pull down and go up and now you're gonna get a different response. So it's like, try that. And it feels totally different. So you're gonna like pull down instead of pushing, okay? There you go. Oh, awesome, awesome. All right, that's enough for today. You're probably overwhelmed as it is, but you tell you what, you can do it. This thing is so safe to use. Just rewind the video, stop it, look at it, and start with mobility, then go to the pivots to get the basic, because that's how I learned. I stopped the videos, I don't know how many times when I was watching David Weck go over the instruction, which was brilliant, by the way, but it took me a while to get comfortable with it, and I just kept doing it until I got the movements where I was comfortable with it, and then I went into the little bit more advanced movements, okay? But I have never in my life ever felt anything like this thing. No, never. <laughs> and you know what? It's absolutely cool, isn't it? It is. So it's fun. It's going to help your flexibility, your mobility, and we're wanting strength. we want more club head speed, so it's going to be good in that regard too. So for more great videos, blogs, and blogs, please watch barnhillgolf.com. <laughs>